Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where today I have more time. <laughs> and there's no wrong way to play with paper. Yesterday was kind of crazy, it was crazy. But that's okay, life happens, family first, that's just how it is. Um, so we are doing 31 days of cut files with my scrappy friends over on the Facebook group with MK Gun from Some Assemblage Required. And this week's we are, this week's, what's, what's that mean? This week, we are using um, cut files that were designed by Janet from the Galaxy Girl, who is, I think, her and MK are besties, I'm pretty sure. And they do a lot of fun hops together, so many fun things. And they are both what I consider to be mentors in the mixed media field, because I am no expert. Um, so today we're doing this pot, the dinner pot, and I'm gonna do a recipe um, page that will, um, it, well, how do I explain this? That I will put my recipe album. Now, if you guys have been with me for a long time, you know I have a series um, where I did recipe pages. I did a whole series, and I am gonna add to that probably in November. Um, that's when I have it scheduled on my notebook <laughs> to do, so we'll see how that works. But I'm gonna do this one because this cut file, how can you not do a recipe? Like this would have been perfect for my chili recipe page that I did, but that's okay. And um, I'm going to um, add it to it at the end. So I will put the playlist for my recipe layouts. Um, if you would like to watch those, I'll put that in the description if I forget, because you all know, sometimes I do. I will film this and then later I forget when I'm editing it what I said if I take a day or two to edit. So just comment. I always answer. It may take me a day or two, but I always, always try to be respectful of replying or at least liking your comments so that you know that I appreciate you taking the time to comment and it's how I get to know you guys as well and I love when you comment so please I encourage you to do so but if I forget let me know I'll find it for you okay in that description you're also going to find where you can buy the cut files that you're seeing here that we're playing with you'll find MK store for um things as well as you will also um, find the playlist because you can click one link and see what everyone's doing with the same cut file and they'll all be different and they'll inspire you so please please check that out all right let's have some fun today like yesterday I'm doing something a little different I don't have my base done I mean I kind of know what I'm gonna do but these cut files are so <sighs> distinguished that's that I think that's a good word distinguished that once you take the time to back them, color them, mix media them, okay, that's a lot of work and you want it to stand out. So it becomes kind of like a main element on your page, especially when they're this size. So um, I there's not a lot to do. I've done the work. Now, all I did was color the outlines with markers and then I backed these and I'm going to tell you this one was a little trickety like yesterday's, but it's worth it, totally worth it. And then just like I've said, when I fussy cut, I ink the edges. So try that because sometimes we miss those tiny little pieces or there's little crevices, ink the edge, it'll hide. Inking hides a lot, y'all, <laughs> it really does. So I'm doing a recipe of cauliflower mac and cheese. If you've never tried it, you should try it. Just, it's on Pinterest, it's on uh, everywhere. It, it, it was a craze, right? Everybody did macaroni and cheese for everything. Um, and this is when I dieted the last time I dieted and it's become a new, well, it's an old recipe, but I'm coming back to it a lot because you guys know I'm on the weight loss shot and it's going very well to everyone that has asked. It actually is. I've lost a total of 42 pounds now in three months. I like it. Um, as long as you eat healthy, I will tell you if you um, don't eat healthy, you will have worse side effects. I'm just saying, you will get more nauseated. With that said, let's just let's just bring the Yeti over here. Oh, we've got my Yeti. Um, you never have enough water. Ever, ever, never have enough water. And I drink a lot of water. I'm not a soda drinker every once in a while, but not even then it's the sugar-free ones. But um, definitely lots of water, be prepared. <laughs> You're gonna want it. All right, so let's put this page together, together. Usually I do the base, and since I don't have a ton of embellishing to do, now the, um, I'm reaching and I apologize. Um, uh, the line that I'm using is Cardabella's Country Kitchen, one of my favorite lines. Yes, it is one of 
the lines that I had in my mega kits for my recipe iris bin because I do have that for sure. Remember to use the paper to um, be your guide so you can keep it straight. Okay, and that's going to be our header. This is just one of the uh, plain papers that go with it. I do have the sticker sheet in case we do want to add some stickers. Um, and then this is a paper from that Country Kitchen Cartabella line. I love Cartabella. Like if I could afford it, it's like 40 and 9 a market. Although I'm getting more into 49 a market, I would have even more. But I try to use every little sliver of 49 a market and Cartabella. They're my favorites. Um, I like Echo Park and it used to be one of my favorites. I'm not going to lie. It really did. But times change and products change and I like 49 a market now squirrel sorry okay so this is gonna go right up here I already know that's where it's gonna go I've already done the work with it um, then I do have a title this it was gifted to me when I was doing that one of my beautiful subscribers sent this to me it says from the kitchen people sent me lots of titles and you guys just help me make my pages extra beautimous you really do then I have my recipe card I've already written on it for the recipe and here is a pocket because this will be interactive and I just need to put that right here. Now, in order to make that pocket, I'm going to use my tacky glue. I am going to ink this first um, because I plan on inking the entire outside edge of the layout itself. So I just want to keep that theme going. Okay, just like so. And all you do when you make a pocket is simply glue the edges. You leave the top edge open and then you glue all the rest. Now, you guys know me, so I better cover up that ink. I never know what's gonna go on around here. <laughs> it's gonna get crazy, crazy, crazy. Now, I'm pretty liberal with my pockets when I do the edges because I do not want them coming up because I have a tendency to stuff them full, especially when I'm making little gifts and stuff for my friends, so. I'm a little bit more liberal than maybe you need to be, but do whatever you like. There's no wrong way to do it. Okay, so right like that is going to be my pocket. My photo is going to go here. I've matted it in this paper as well. I actually had a scrap of this paper. I wanted to use this as the background, but all I have is a scrap, so I'm making it work. Then my recipe is going to fit right in here. Now I'm going to tell you, make sure you give yourself enough room, otherwise you're going to regret it and you're not going to like it. I speak from experience, okay? So make sure you give yourself plenty of room. People can take this out. They can flip it over. All the good stuff, okay? Really, this boils down to it's cauliflower. You boil it. Then you put whatever kind of cheeses you like with heavy cream. Make a cheese sauce just like you would macaroni and cheese. And you mix it all together. That's basically all it is. Honestly, it truly is. All right, then I have this beautiful border that my Captain Lori, I call her mine. <laughs> we just did a beautiful um, gift for her for all that she does for our swaps over on Ginger's Corner. And she sent me, oh, you hear my girls? I've got three teenagers here, y'all. Um, um, she sent to me oh, a while back and um, she is amazing. So I think I'm gonna glue that down right there. You guys? I don't really need anything else. I don't, but I do like stuff. So <laughs> let's put this photo down temporary and I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not always perfect. If you know, I'm not always a straight scrapper. I'm not, but you know what? My family, they know I'm a little crooked. They're good with it. <laughs> and if they're not, well, they should be better about it because I'm not going to change. I'm just not. I was thinking, at first I wanted to use this sticker. I thought maybe this sticker down here would be perfect. I still kind of do, but it's too big. It just is. But I'm thinking maybe I can use this one. So I want to try, okay? And normally I would put it on wax paper, but yours truly didn't get any. So what I'm thinking is I could put this right on top of here, allow it to go on my photo, I'm okay with that. In fact, I know this is where it's gonna go, so I'm gonna go ahead, forget the wax paper today, all right? This is why I gave myself a little bit extra room, and I'm okay with it covering that up. This is fine, totally fine. Put this back over here, kind of like flowers at a table, right? I like the way that looks. I feel like it makes it complete. 
Then I want to take, let me grab some gems. I'm gonna take some gems and give this a little bling, right? And I'm going to put them inside of the flowers, right? Look, one, two, three, four, five, that'll be perfect. I'm gonna put some here, here to complete the page, ink it, and I'm gonna be done. So I hope this inspires you to do your recipes. I always have a lot of messages and a lot of comments saying they need to get it started. You know what? I did that for years, years. And I'm gonna tell you, when you come across the photo, do not set it aside for a recipe. This is what I've learned, okay, for me. Keep an iris bin and or a project basket just for that album because it's gonna be one that's never done. It's never gonna be done. As you make it, because if they're your favorites, they deserve a spot in your recipe book, right? Your recipe album. Whether it's a 12 by 12 like mine or eight and a half by 11, scrap it. Get it out and scrap it, use it. But don't keep putting it aside to do a album one day. Just don't, because you're gonna be like me and you're never gonna get it done. We're always going to have projects. So when it arises, when you make it, snap a photo of it and do one at a time. You guys, I have 62 layouts in this album now, 62. But I'm still doing other ones. I just include it in my photos every day and I add it to it. I include photos in my recipe album of us going out to eat. Being at the table, being in the kitchen, that's a huge part of family life, right? You guys hear those girls, they're crazy. They're crazy. And you need to include them. I put those kind of layouts in my recipe album. I really do because they're memories. That's what makes the recipe special. Just food for thought. All right, let me go put this together. I'll be back and we'll talk about whatever I do different. All right, I got it all glued down. I put my little gems down. I inked everything. I got my little pocket, my recipe in the pocket. This one was a lot of fun. Again, don't think you have to over embellish. You don't. Sometimes simple is best. Use the time on that cut file and enjoy the process. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Thank you to MK for putting this all together. Without her, we would not even be doing this. And with that, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you will join me tomorrow. I'll put close-ups like I always do. Do those recipes. There's no time like the present. I'll talk to you later. Be blessed. Bye-bye.